Hi folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, coming to you with another product. This is an unboxing of the Ingreen, I believe is how you say it, the Ingreen Smart Clock. You can go to ingreen.com. They're supposed to be launching this product soon. So the product that we do have is still in beta from my understanding. So uh, our uh, ideas, what you're going to see here, are based upon that. Uh, they soon should be launched. I believe they're going crowdfunding, but you'll have to watch their website. Uh, they claim to be a luxury wood clock that navigates with your smart home devices and displays information from your favorite apps. Mm, I didn't find it to be luxury wood, at least not the model we got. Uh, it looked kind of mm, cheaply cut in some areas and corners. Uh, and um, it, it looked average. You know, it's something I would just buy cheaply off the shelf at, uh, I don't know, a bed and bath and beyond. Um, hopefully they do something to make it more luxurious. The hands definitely look cheap on the model that we got. Didn't look anywhere near the nice hands that uh, I saw in the pictures. Uh, and so hopefully they fix that as well. Like I said, it is in beta, so hopefully they fix that. Uh, it claims with the clock, you'll be more present in your life, you'll stay informed, not distracted, and you'll upgrade your space and it's an elegant product. You can get weather and traffic forecasts, which is kind of nice. Uh, easy setup. It pretty was easy to set up. Uh, precious hardwood, they claim on the website. Not really sure I'd buy that, but hopefully they make some better models. Um, priority app integration. You can use IFTTT, if this, then that, dot com, uh, to do app integration with your phone uh, to send different commands to or information to the clock. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's got motion detection, although we couldn't get it to work, and they informed us that they're still working some of the bugs out of the motion detection. You get this in four different uh, types of wood, if you will, and uh, our experience with it was fairly good. Uh, it looks a little rough around the edges, and of course it's still in beta, hasn't launched fully. Uh, we were able to go into the IFF, or the IFTTT area and make some recipes, which was Pretty cool. The only problem is, is uh, if anytime you get a notification on the clock, you have to look at it immediately if you want to see what the notification is, because it expires. You can't bring it back, uh, and so that really doesn't serve the purpose of taking it away from your cell phone, because then you're going to have to go to your cell phone and look at it. Uh, and I think I don't know if that really saves you from uh, spending so much time with your cell phone. Um, that it claims it should not be uh, keeping you from doing that. So, you know, if you're in the other room, you hear the beep or you see the uh, notification come across, uh, you can't get to the clock in time by the time it's gone and you can't recall it. So you're just kind of like, well, whatever that was, I guess I'm going to have to get my phone. I just should have went and got my phone in the first place. Uh, overall, I think it's a kind of a novelty of an idea, an analog device clock in a uh, digital world. But uh, I think it needs some more uh, improvements to the application. Hopefully, they'll solve those in the beta. Um, I think it's an okay product. I don't know what the price is on it yet, but uh, you can take a look at it yourself and judge for yourself. Uh, go to the ingrin.com and tell them Chris Foss Sam. I definitely think it's worth a look, and uh, we'll see what the finished product comes out to be.